Oh, always good to see some Sephiroth on the screen. Yeah, we're gonna get Sephiroth versus Falco. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Three, two, Game 1 on Battlefield. One. Now this is a quite an interesting matchup I know nothing about. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue how this matchup goes. Oh, okay. The flare is kind of exploding. Oh, then they're out of shield, actually. Oh, Puck killing himself. Alright, I mean, Rapting's actually off to a solid start, just kind of spacing him out. Oh, absolutely. I don't know what that up was from Puck. But he's a ratchet player, so I don't question his decisions. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a solid spike. <laughs> Puck is all the way back in here. Yeah, you can't really spike this. Is he dead? Oh my god. That had to have been bad DI. I'm he didn't just try to grab him out of shield there. I think managing the almost not quite. Ooh. There's no way he's dead. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh wow, oh, whoa. Ratfink just, I kind of lost focus for a second there and Ratfink just took it. Yeah, I did too. I was uh, I was in the middle of a quick play match that, uh, because <laughs> I thought it was going to wow. be a little longer, but Ratfink taking game one against Puck. Quite interesting. That raw damage output is actually insane. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> there people, there, I've seen some people on Twitter saying this character needs buffs and vicious. Oh no, he's No, not. there's I think this character is going to be incredible. We still have a lot to develop in his uh metagame. I've seen oh, a lot I of think, interesting things. I think he's insane. One thing that uh I never even thought about until today. Saw someone else bring it up, but uh his up throw. Because like obviously we know like oh up throw up tilt's not true if they DI away. But uh down throw in the forward air is true if they DI away or don't DI at all. And the only way to uh, escape that is to DI in. So it's kind of like a 50-50. Like, you can go for one or the other. You, you, can, uh, yeah. you can DI for up throw, or you can DI for down throw, but you can't get both, which is quite interesting. He's definitely going to be uh, the a super very... Sap oh, just yeah. kind of exploits your habits and destroys Yeah, he's a very, uh, I would say, like, elegant swordsman. You've got a really... Uh, Pick your uh, opportunities to go in. With all the unlikely, he's got a lot of his moves. Oh my fucking god. Oh, whoa. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> well, hug off to a pretty explosive start here. Yeah. But we'll see if Ratfink can close this out. Sephiroth definitely has a very strong comeback mechanic of one wing angel, but he is definitely down quite a bit right now. Getting in around 50%. Oh, shit. Yeah. Right All right. Puck looking a lot stronger this game. Oh yeah. Helps that he didn't SD in the first 10 seconds. <laughs> it's gonna be very interesting. I know one thing that I noticed with Ratfink is he really likes to use Sephiroth's side. Oh, it looks like he's 
Oh, oh no. He didn't he didn't angle it properly. Nope. He absolutely could make that though. I've laughed that out myself. Yeah. That is a move that it feels I don't know. There's something about like angling that feels weird. It's something that I, I definitely gotta work on too. But that's what happens when you go for stuff like that. Uh, definitely gotta make sure it's properly labbed out. Pug is going low. Oh my god. Yeah. Pug, Pug definitely tends to overcommit a lot when it comes to when it comes to edge guarding. Pug is a super good edge guarder, but he also has limitations. And there's a lot of there's some times where you know you, you're just better off just. Let's see what I mean. Yeah. It's that broth. There's times where it's just kind of better off to stay at the ledge. I don't think this lead is escaping Puck anytime soon, though. Oh, no. He's gonna have to, uh... choke pretty hard to, uh... <laughs> to lose this match. I mean, anything's possible, especially, oh. uh... Oh, no, we, we, saw, we saw the smash ball in the corner. Oh, my God! What? Why does he look there. like... Yeah, I was gonna say... I thought it was just down smash that did stuff like that. What the hell? Ah. Well, very commanding game two by Puck. Now we're going into game three, uh, best of five. We're gonna see if Radfin gets some stain Sephiroth here. Uh, you think he's gonna, just gonna stay him full, uh, full on through bracket? Yeah, I think I think he's gonna stick it out. Yeah, I feel I'll like see why he wouldn't. I feel like a lot of people are wanting to play this character right now. He's a very, oh, yeah. very popular, very fun character. I've never really heard, uh, I think more on the casual side, I've heard people uh, complain about him a little bit, just not like, you know, because he's definitely a character that you can't just press buttons with. You know, you gotta really think about what you're doing with the character. So, uh, otherwise, you just get caught in uh, a lot of end lag. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, game three, let's see. Yep, sticking Sephiroth. Oh. I think they're just switching the stage. Probably. Alright, let's see. The winner of this goes on to fight 34. Should be interesting. Oh, yeah. Opening with the counter. Uh, Puck not getting too much off it. Ooh, trying it again, though. Puck was just not able to capitalize. He's definitely winning these interactions a lot, though. Yeah. Do you know if that's uh, how easy it is to punish that up B if it snaps to ledge like that? Not necessarily snaps, it like its hitbox is out. Um. Because it seems like it's hard to challenge. I haven't seen a lot of people get that yet. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely, like, I played against Comet yesterday, and I was punishing it with, like, Palu up smash, but also the Palu up smash. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. you know. It reflecting the first form of flare, so not a whole lot of damage, but still, oh, oh dang, yeah. okay. Wow. Is out for blood here. He is playing very well. Oh, yeah. Puck's just not giving him any room to breathe. <laughs> Absolutely not. He's also choosing his uh, approaches very carefully as well. Oh, yeah. He's not getting punished much for really anything. He's playing just very safe. And not much yeah, he could have done the there. Two frame. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I think I think he could have just gone for a basic four tilt right there. Yeah, that probably would have killed too. See how much lag he was in from that up <laughs> Oh, that was... Puck is just getting so many free punishes here. It seems like he's just purely reacting to what Raffing is doing. Yeah. I mean, it's not even just react. I feel like Raffing doesn't really know how to get him off. Oh, yeah. He's, he's not choosing his spots. He's not choosing his threat. Um... His threat zone's properly in neutral. Oh, 
but okay, he kills Puck, but he also dies for that as well. I think honestly, that was a fine trade because he was probably gonna lose that stock before Puck. Oh yeah. I think Puck's still out of position. You wanna be at, but yeah, losing one wing like that. Oh, probably. Yep, already got it back. Oh my God, pairing the counter off stage. And oh, he went a bit too low, yeah. Puck with the solid two stock. Had enough already? <laughs> two stock where uh, one of his stocks, he just uh, decided to trade it. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very commanding game three, and we're going into game four. Uh, man, what, what, what do you think uh, Rat Fang needs to do differently to uh, try to turn this around? I think... It, okay, it, I feel like this has been a recurring theme for a lot of sets in here, um, we've seen so far. I think Ratfink is trying to beat Puck at his own game. And Sephiroth is not a character who could, you know, box up close with, you know, like brawlers mm -hmm. like Falco and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I think he wants to play more of, you know, the distance demon archetype and keep him at bay. Just sort of whiff punishing his stuff, you know, catching his uh, approaches with dash back forward tilt, stuff like that. Mm hmm. And he's up air a lot more in advantage. I feel like he's just trying to up smash him and get hard reads. Um, but up air is definitely no play. Oh yeah, he definitely needs to uh, try to make some space here. But Puck is just not letting him do that. Oh my god. Oh, this yeah. is some crazy advantage state by Puck here. My yeah. <laughs> He's just not giving me space to breathe. He frame trapped him like three times in that sequence. Like, I don't know what Red Fink could have even done. I am interested to see if uh, we see uh, Puck decide to reflect the counter. I don't know if he uh, knows about that. It seems to be a. Uh... Oh boy. Oh my. Forward smash coming through. But uh, Sephiroth's counters actually counter as a uh, projectile that can be reflected. Which, uh, <laughs> it's not very good for him. Trying to get him with that hell gate, but just uh, a little off. Huh? A little bit of lag, but they're right back to it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Puck this looking is brutal for our... For our uh, I don't want to say hero, because Sephiroth is definitely a villain. Hey, he used to be a hero. Yeah. Called him the world's best hero. <laughs> oh my god. The yeah, Pug is just running away with this <laughs> game. He's definitely taking advantage of the fact that Sephiroth is... Uh, Sephiroth has a... Uh, oh my not god. Not a... Like, the worst disadvantage state, but definitely not something you want to... I think he's more so taking advantage of him just not having good like scramble options. Mm -hmm. Like he's getting in his face super easily, and yeah, CJ is getting or Rafink is getting a bit desperate with these kill options. Oh, absolutely. He's looking at just saw him right now. Yeah, you saw him throw out you know like three or four dash attacks in a row into spot dodge smash attacks over and over again. Yeah, he's gonna try to cheese it, but he's gonna need a lot of uh, cheddar if he wants to do that. Oh yeah. This is definitely not uh, not undoable. He's starting to close it. Huh? Oh, he went for that up smash. He could have definitely just killed him right there. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh my whoa. God. Okay. That thing took that entire stock without losing. Uh, without getting I'm taken any percent. All right, Puck responding, but I don't know if it's too late. Yeah, Radfang's definitely uh, starting to feel himself in this one. He's definitely starting to realize what he's doing wrong. Yeah. As he's starting to run away with his game. Pug needs to end this soon because uh, he's definitely lost a lot of momentum here. He gets edge card here. He tried. Yeah. He's got to be very careful with Wing that. Oh! oh. 
game couldn't even handle that one. I didn't know which one uh, connected there, but then I realized, oh yeah, Hell's Gate. Yeah. Really. <laughs> he, now the intangible legs of Falco Lombardi. That was definitely oh, a very... out that game three. CJ, I feel like he definitely figured out what to do towards the end there. It was just, you yeah, know, just too little too late. late. Absolutely. He definitely uh, started fixing a lot of his habits once he got that first kill. He started to, uh, you know, he also definitely snowballed that second stock with the, you know, with the one wing. Angel. Oh yeah, absolutely. That was why I was.